now introducing our next artist, who happens to be a noted comedy star, I'd like to quote a line from Shakespeare. It's from the scene in which Hamlet gives his instructions to the actors. And it goes like this. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action, but do not saw the air too much with your hand. <laughs> Here's a young man who failed to follow that advice, but he became famous just the same. Jackie Mason. Yeah. Well, well, certainly is a pleasure to see me here again. I want to take this opportunity to wish myself the best of everything. I'm looking at the wrong guy, I can see that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a story. Are you busy right now, mister? Look up, this is the show. Get out. Let me try this side. You see, uh -huh, it's not so hot in here. <laughs> this is an amazing thing. There's no place to turn here for help. For help. <laughs> you know what? It's an amazing thing. To, to me, it's an amazing thing that I did this show. I didn't intend to do this show. I came here to help out Ferris there. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't need to work. In this country, you're better off if you're not working. <laughs> Unemployed people do better than the people who are working in this country right now. That's the truth. You ever meet a guy that's not working? He's proud. He knows it's steady. <laughs> not only that, he makes more money. <laughs> because the federal minimum wage in this country right now is only a dollar and a quarter an hour. Unemployment insurance pays a dollar fifty an hour. <laughs> so for every hour that you work, you lose a quarter. <laughs> the truth is that you work long enough, you're wiped out. <laughs> Years from now, two mothers will be talking. What did your son do for a living? She'll say, thank the Lord, he's not working. <laughs> I'm giving up this business anyway. I don't need this. I'm going into politics. It's like I said to Senator Murphy only last night. <laughs> and he's a great senator. I got news for you. He's liable to become president. Then he'll make a great president. I got news for you. I could see him in a debate with the Russian delegate in the United Nations. And the Russian delegate will holler, Yenya Hazdaish Hanaya! George Murphy will answer right away. Tee. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole joke, mister. Help out. <laughs> he's looking at me like he's waiting for a comedian to show up. <laughs> you know who I really think should be president? Dean Martin. Here's a man who should be president. I guarantee you, he wouldn't stand for anything. He wouldn't stand for anything. <laughs> How would you like a rap in a mouth? <laughs> Dean Martin would make a great president. They'd ask him a question, he'd take the fifth, and that would be it. <laughs> I want to tell you a true story. Do you know that if I run for Congress, and I deserve to be a congressman, because I've done a lot for this country. I've sacrificed myself for this country all my life. Do you know what I've done for this country? Huh, mister? Do you know anything at all that I'm talking about? Do you know that I'm still suffering from shock since the last war? I was almost drafted. It's a lucky thing I was wounded while taking the physical. When I reached the psychiatrist, I said, give me a gun, I'll wipe out the German army in five minutes. He said, you're crazy. I said, write it down. <laughs> you want me to tell you what the real problem is, besides the fact that you showed up? <laughs> the real problem is this. We have to wipe out communism all over the world, and I know how to do it. I would wipe out communism in five minutes. We'll start with this guy. Get up. <laughs> I'll tell you how to wipe out communism, not by sending food and money to all these foreign countries. Every time a country is threatened by communism, we send money. Then the communists find out that that's where the money is, so they come back in. <laughs> then other countries find out that they can get money from us if they got communists. So in the middle of the night, they look for communists that they could bring into the country. Huh, mister? <laughs> the biggest company in Asia right now is a company called Hertz rent a communist <laughs> You know how many communists there are? And we don't know what to do about it. In this country, we catch a communist, we throw him in jail. In Yugoslavia, we support him. That's why there's no communists in this country. They're all in Yugoslavia collecting checks. <laughs> Where am I talking to that guy? <laughs> Let me tell you a true story. I know what to do about this because this bothers me. You know how many years we're supporting Pakistan? Now they're fighting with India over Kashmir. They're fighting over Mink, I can see it, but Kashmir. <laughs> How many sweaters do you need? This is ridiculous. They wear sheets anyway. What are they going to do with cash? The whole thing don't make no sense. The threat of overpopulation is the great threat, not communism. I'm not worried about communists. We could wipe them out in five minutes. You know that in case of a war, we got SAG bombers? Did you hear about it? These SAG bombers would be up in the air in 15 minutes. The rest of us would be up in the air in two minutes. 
The trick is to beat the bombers into the air. The great problem is really the problem of overpopulation. Too many people are being born right now. You know how many people there are in the world right now? Do you know that in China there's more children born every minute than in India? Look who I picked out to know. <laughs> I'll tell you another thing. Do you know that in India there's more children born every minute than in Turkey? Which proves only one thing, that more people talk Turkey in India. <laughs> You don't know what's going on, mister. Do you know that last week, last week when Nixon was in India, and that one day, 25,000 children were born in India. Now, I'm not trying to blame Nixon for everything. <laughs> but you got to admit, it looks suspicious. <laughs> this is a problem all over the world. Do you know, do you know anything at all? Do you know that in Asia, 30,000 children are being born per capita? In Africa, it's 30,000 per capita. Even in America, it's 12,000 per capita. We have to catch this guy per capita. <laughs> He's causing all the children. I talked to Mr. Per Capita only last night. I said, Mr. Per Capita. He said, yes. <laughs> you think he's in bad shape. You should meet Mrs. Per Capita. <laughs> I want to thank you, Mr. Fred Astaire, for giving me this fantastic opportunity. And for all of you ladies, I have to leave. They're showing me signs, and I'm not going to take it another chance. <laughs> I lost my Sundays. I'm not going to lose my Saturdays. Let me get <laughs> Rub it up, duck. Dial soap in the tub. <laughs> Dial. So gentle, many hospitals use it to bathe little babies. As mild as that. And yet the most effective deodorant soap you can buy. That's Dial. Good cooks use treat. Just like ham. On sandwiches, barbecued, in salads. They fry it, broil it, bake it. Good cooks use treat just like ham, only more often. Why don't you reach for the star? Armor Star Treat. <laughs> 